Hello and welcome to Ferris Sports Update. I'm your host, Rob Bentley, and thanks for tuning in. On today's final show of the 2020-2021 athletic season, we'll talk Bulldog football as they had their spring game this past weekend. We'll check in with the first place Ferris State women's soccer team, and we'll recap the past year here in Bulldog athletics. We'll start first, though, with Bulldog football and joined by head coach Tony Anise. Coach, welcome uh, to the show. Thanks, Rob. I know uh, certainly you've got to be uh, feeling good after uh, your guys had a chance to get an opportunity to, to get on the field this past weekend at the spring game. Yeah, the last time was December 14th, 2019, walking off after, uh, you know, basically a heartbreaking loss to West Florida in which we kind of gave it away and they became the eventual national champ. So it's the first time we put the uniform on since that day. It kind of allows us to Put that past us a little bit, even though people would say, geez, I mean, that's a long time ago. But uh, first time we put the uh, uniform on, so it was exciting on, on Saturday. It was a great crowd, great weather, um, great to, uh, you know, conclude spring ball. Um, you know, it's been kind of a long time coming for sure, so uh, we're pleased. Before we get into the highlights of the spring game, I know it's uh, been a challenging year, and obviously uh, you've talked about it before. Your kids, uh, the way they've handled this past year has been uh, exceptional. Yeah, no, exceptional. You know, going back to even a year ago um, with the uncertainty, um, you know, it's just, uh, you know, just reflecting back, um, it's just, it just was so crazy back then a year ago. And and actually, I, I, I played golf with our, our little competition yesterday with Jared Dett and Liam versus Shreve and I, and we whipped their butt, by the way, yesterday. But uh, we, we were reminiscing because a year ago we were doing the same thing, you know, even though uh, golf courses were closed, we we're sliding onto some golf courses and walking. And, and uh, you know, just thinking back as to the uncertainty of a year ago and then, you know, just feeling so, like, good about being around each other again. It's so incredible. And, and um, so we feel wonderful. And then... Uh, you know, thinking back to the fall, you know, we, we basically had spring ball in the fall, and then we used, even though we didn't play a game, we declared our season in the spring. But we've been going at it with football for a long, long time. And, you know, we only had one key injury, like one, you know, significant injury. And so we've been lucky in that regard. We've been really smart uh, in regards to taking care of bodies. Um, and then, you know, just our, our willingness to just – you know, just stay on task, you know, to stay focused, to be disciplined, to do the all things you need to do when, you know, you don't even know whether you're going to be playing the game. Um, you know, it's just been incredible. So I'm so proud of our guys. As we go to some of the highlights, uh, obviously uh, you had some guys that didn't play in the spring game, but uh, really gave a chance for a lot of younger guys to see their first action. Yeah, no, it was awesome. You know, we got guys that, you know, aren't even in school. So, you know, they came back to watch the game and, and uh, they're like, geez, I didn't know some of these guys. And so uh, right away, Evan hits one of our true freshmen, Cam Underwood, uh, for a big pass, uh, blown coverage. But, uh, um, you know, Evan found him and that was key. But I thought from a physicality standpoint, because we don't, we don't tackle live in practice hardly ever. So I thought the tackling was good. Here we put a helmet on a ball, and Shaderic uh, rumbles for three yards. And, and you can see that's the defense on that side. They're all celebrating whether they're wearing red or white. And uh, so that's pretty cool. But, um, you know, ball security was a concern. Um, we missed a couple. But, but here, you know, Cam had another chance to make a play. But the DB, and I don't know all the guys' numbers, so I can't tell you who it is, uh, made a great play. Um, uh, here, Evan here hits Cam Underwood here again. Uh, it's pretty good coverage. It just was perfectly thrown ball under, under uh, you know, tough, tough uh, conditions with him moving out of the pocket. Here, Jesse Rivera hit, hits Mason Plein. Mason 6'8". We were going to throw it up to him in this game and see what he could do, and he high-pointed it beautifully. So he's a great addition to our team. Obviously, uh, the white team got out to a big lead, uh, modified scoring format though, and, and as it always seems to happen, uh, the red team came back and, and really made it a ball game. Yeah, I try to cheat a little bit to make sure the game's close, so uh, <laughs> <laughs> the play calling changes a little bit or the strategies, but Cheyenne Graves had a great game. He's a true freshman uh, from the Tampa area. He did great. Here, uh, Jalen Willis completes a great pass. Um, to uh, Adrian Petty, who's from San Diego. Jalen's from Miami, so we got a lot out of staters. Uh, and this is Sincere Dent rumbling. He's a big man and physically uh, hard, to, hard to tackle. And so uh, that's a great run by him. You can see how many 
tackles he broke on, on that particular play. Obviously a game that uh, came down to the, to the final drive, as we'll see here uh, coming up uh, very shortly. Yeah, it's, uh, I got criticized for the last call, but uh, I'm going to blame it on Steve. He made the call, and he'll cry about that. <laughs> but uh, we didn't want to throw it up to Mason again, so we threw a fade to our slot, and, and uh, Caden just threw it a little wide of uh, Jerry Corbin. But uh, all in all, a great day. Um, you know, you could tell nobody really – cared who won or lost um, and so at the end of the day you know we don't like reward one team for winning and punish another team for losing it's just we wanted to play hard we wanted to have fun we wanted to have a good crowd we wanted to celebrate the great game of football and we did that obviously uh, now uh, into the offseason plan as you get ready for fall camp and then uh, uh, a tough season opener uh, starting on September 2nd against Finley yeah it's weird to think about you know Finley's played you know so they're uh, they're only a one loss team this spring so they got a lot of game experience uh, under their belts but I'm of the belief that you don't play games in order to get better uh, you practice football in order to get better so we'll see how that uh, my philosophy weighs out on September 2nd but I feel like our growth has been like uh, as good as it can be. You know, if I had to say scale of one to 10, how good has it been? Uh, I say 10, you know, it's been unbelievable. Um, our staff has been smart. You know, I, I look back and, and, and kind of assess when our first practice was. Um, and it was Sunday, January 24th, we, we practiced on that day. Um, but our, our initial practices were by position group. so. The old line met at 6 a.m. and the D line at 7 a.m. and the linebackers at 7 a.m. and the DBs at 8 and quarterbacks receiver slots at 10 on certain days and a one and two on the other days and and uh, but it's been unbelievable growth and so we feel great about where our program is. Obviously, we saw a great crowd on hand for the spring game and uh, you had an honorary captains uh, back, Travis Russell, Malik Taylor from the Green Bay Packers and. Maybe what did it mean to have uh, that support uh, from, from the fans and, and the parents that were on hand on Saturday? Oh, it's just incredible. It's uh, awesome to see how many people were there, how many, uh, you know, how many uh, requests to have tickets. I'm like, we don't have tickets. Just come on in and hopefully you get in. So that was awesome. And then for Malik to be there, it's just, uh, you know, we don't get an opportunity to see those guys enough. You know, they're they're busy with all of what they're doing. But, but uh, Malik, obviously, you know, played every game for the, for the Packers this past year. And, and uh, so it's great to see him. And Travis, I see quite a bit because um, he's just in Grand Rapids, but it's still, you know, it just brings you back. You know, it's why you coach the game is just to have those, you know, deep, uh, you know, relationships that, that just are binding forever. And, and so um, that's the beauty of being a coach, you know, an old coach who uh, looks back over time and says, man, I mean, what, what kind of opportunities have I had to build relationships with young people? And, and just, you know, it's just been so, so amazing to have uh, those relationships over a, a long career. Well, Coach, thanks uh, for the time and uh, best of luck uh, this summer. I'm sure uh, you'll be out on the golf course and uh, yeah. we'll be to fall camp before you know it. We hit it yesterday quick. And so uh, my, my game was like top notch <laughs> from, from the get go. So I don't know, man, if, it, if that's the sign of what's going to happen this summer, I may be, uh, Maybe on the PGA Tour soon. <laughs> Thanks again. We'll be back with more Ferris Sports Update right after this.